All right, thank you very much for still being there. Let's take more of your tweets that have been coming in. A lot of them about the new political parties that have been registered. Uh, this one says, uh, at AIT Kakaki, coming from Nemedist 2020, says, if this new party can stick to what they just said, then they can go far. Uh, the other one, OTT underscore Moses, says, please, how can one get your manifesto? Party constitution for proper scrutiny in order to share what APDA stands for. Of course, we shall be having a very, very top member of the APDA with us, and he would have to uh, comment and have answers for you on that one. Goke1981 says, at Kakaki, at AIT Kakaki, your guests are not realistic. They will even be the one to beg the campees to come and contest so as to be able to win, and the party will die. Yes, indeed. I, I think that's a fallout of the question we had <laughs> to one of our guests here for also uh, national officers, interim national officers of the APDA who were here with us yesterday. All right, let's look at mm -hmm. another one. Say, uh, I think the number is E6, E5, E6. I think the number is quite long. It says, with APDA self-cleansing mechanisms, new entrants already knows their fate. The founders are well conscious of this as it has raped other parties. That is another one. Here, the same person says, we in need of another political party to take the position of strong opposition as PDP uh, is in disarray. APDA looks promising with their ideology. Victor Weche says, I heard Asandia Hogan say registration levy into APDA is 5K. That's 5,000 Naira. Annual levy 3K. Is the party aware of unemployment in Nigeria? <laughs> That's so that Omeche Victor also says federal government to crash prices of foodstuff in harsh Nigeria in two weeks with exclamation. I think he shares a TV stream of thought on that day. He says, mm. how can that be? Is federal government going to flood the market with its own food? Okay. Rhetorical question. <laughs> okay. So keep sending in your tweet. <laughs> is at AIT Kakaki. That's our handle mm -hmm. on Twitter. Send it because we shall be talking. Of course, the main discussion coming up still on political parties. We shall be focusing on the decision of ANEC and, of course, the APDA oh. issues and matters arising. But uh, let's uh, give you uh, this comment from the ANEC National Commissioner during the registration or the announcement of the registration of five political associations that happened in Kaduna. Take a look. At present, 95 associations have applied to the Commission for registration as political parties. Two of the associations voluntarily withdrew their applications. The Commission today approves the applications of five of the associations which have fulfilled the constitutional requirements for registration. These are Young Progressive Party, YPP. Young Progressive Party, YPP. The second one, Advanced People's Democratic Alliance, APDA. Advanced People's Democratic Alliance, APDA. The third one, New Generation Party of Nigeria, NGP. New Generation Party of Nigeria, NGP. The fourth one, All Democratic People's Movement. All Democratic People's Movement, ADPM. And the fifth one is the Action Democratic Party, ADP. Action Democratic Party, ADP. All right, that's INEC National Commissioner Shoebi uh, announcing the names of the political parties, uh, political associations whose status has changed now to political parties, uh, five of them. Uh, we shall be taking uh, on these issues, and let's also tell you that we will also take on two other political parties separately to appraise the decision of INEC. But first, we're talking to a founding member of the APDA. They prefer not to be called APDA. They say they should be called APDA. We intend to stick with the abbreviation of the name. We'll find out why that's the case. Uh, joining us now is a founding member of the APDA, Chief Dan Wyan. Always a pleasure having you here. Good morning. 
Thank you for having me. Uh, all right, tell us. Uh, yesterday, we some people were privileged to ask questions when they saw some of your commentaries mm -hmm. in the uh, news hour yesterday. Yeah. And you know, congratulations mm -hmm. on the registrations, by the way. Thank you. Um, now, when you look mm -hmm. at, you saw some of the tweets and some people asking, "What really is the ideology of APDA?" And you know, when you're talking about three thousand naira registration and only a five thousand naira levy, people want to really understand what the modus operandi is for APDA. Thank you. You see, first of all. APDA was formed to change the content and character in Nigerian politics. In APDA, we took a decision that we have to return the polity to the people. We have to return political party administration to the people. It is the people that makes the political party. APDA, as I said before, is an idea whose time has come. There are things associated with political parties in the past for years. So we looked at them. We said, look, there should be no impunity in APDA. There should be money banks to keep their money. If the purpose is to hijack the process, handpick people and get them into office, that will address the issue of the 5,000 you're talking about. Uh -huh. There are no mass curates in the APDA. It is the members that will run their parties. And we did that research. You know, I left partisan politics, okay, belonging to a political party. I've been partyless since 2005, 15. We've been doing that research. It is doable. A member who registers to be a member of a party in APDA has equal stakes with Danwanya, one of the people that registered the party. I also saw the tweet, the e-registration, we are in the rural areas and all that. How did he get the PVC? We are going to take care of all this. We get people register, we move our machines, we get it done, you must have that membership, biometric membership card that looks like a debit note. That is your passport in APDA. And that automatically makes you a delegate to the Congress, to the primaries. In APDA, there is nothing like list of delegates. Any card carry member of APDA will attend. All you need to do on that day you walk to the place, you are credited like the annex system, you're okay, you move in a vote. The issue of money banks, writing lists, mm -hmm. hiring people, non-party members, talks, write their names, give to the committee in Abuja that will go and conduct the primaries. You reach there, the real party members will not even enter. It's gone. It's gone. Somebody asks, are they going to keep to it? I, Danwanya, have never lied to the people of Nigeria. I will never lie to the people of Nigeria. If it is not going to work, I won't put my integrity on the table. Uh -huh. that, we will a, fix it. Yes. We will fix it. It will work. It is not something like... Look at the political system. Everybody, impunity, everybody is doing his own. Mm. Everybody is looking at what do I get. Mm. It will take some time, but we have worked on this and we are working every day. For example, all aspirants to the office, any office, whether elective or national election, under APDA must pass through the Democratic Governance Institute. We are waiting for the interim national chairman, Malam Shitu Kabiru Mohammed, to direct for the processes to take off. Because that one, we have to put it quickly. Very soon, mm -hmm. INEC will release their, uh -huh. the details of the election. Because you cannot contest election in APDA if you don't pass through that institute. Mm -hmm. It will achieve several things. One, so that you will understand where we are coming from. You understand our ideology. You will understand what we believe in. You will be committed to... We want a situation in Nigeria where you get to a family. There have been members of APDA for 100 years. It goes from generation to generation. 
because of what they believe in. So how do you register online? Is it through the website? Yes, you go to uh, apdnigeria.org. The system is there. You can register as so you are there now. Mm -hmm. But for those people complaining, we have directed in our last next meeting mm -hmm. that, okay, go back, start getting them. Uh, those rural areas, we are expecting, we have ordered for the machines. By the time they come, we we'll move the machines to the wards. There will be a center where you will move. They should not bother about it. We are going to meet them. Mm -hmm. They will not come and meet us. We will meet them where it will be easy for them. If we have in a ward, let me take for example, 100 members. Mm -hmm. These are the 100 members committed to the party. Unlike in the past, mm -hmm. where governors will get to Abuja, collect registration forms, registration cards, go and distribute it. Mm -hmm. Free. Everybody is a member of a party. But shaking tomorrow, you, sh you will jump to the other party. Mm. He doesn't believe in anything. Huh. All he believes in is what he gets. APDA is, is a political party that believes in the ideas of social democracy. Mm -hmm. And we must push it through. It doesn't matter. We don't want people to come and confuse the system. Mm. We have looked at this. Now, this, we have little experience on this admi political party administration. Mm. So we, we are committed to it. Every member that is committed, because this party now we have established is for the young people. Mm -hmm. It's for women. They should stop complaining. Mm. We have given it to them. Take it. During the unveiling, I mean, I invited them. Go to our wards, to your wards, and take over the structures. Mm. We are sincere. If you are educated, if you are, can mobilize, and you are in a position to move people, go and start. Mm. Go and start. Uh, in some places, perhaps persons will say there's nobody in Nigeria, especially <laughs> those who call themselves party men, uh, who don't belong to two parties, mm -hmm. carry the cards of two parties. Uh, you, you're opening up your doors and welcoming people. Are you, do you have any process to screen people to be sure that the individual has no affiliation with any political yes, party? Yes, if you, if you go online, after registering, you, you are automatically giving your numbers and everything online. Okay. The next thing you will see, report to your ward within a period. Your ward will welcome you because politics is local. Mm. We don't want Abuja politicians who will come here, they speak the whole grammar on it. During the election, they will not win their polling unit. In the internet, it will tell you, report to your ward. That is where you will be looked at and welcomed and other things will follow. Mm. What verification process takes place at that level to be sure that this individual is not having one leg in one of the political parties? No, 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 one of, leg in no of, of, of course you cannot have a leg here, a leg there. Mm. Once you have entered as, as a member of APD mm. and you get to the world, one thing is to know your documentation. Mm. Have you been in the political party system before? Are you in any political party now? Okay. He will not even tell you yes if he belongs to it. But by the time he has appeared in the world, mm. it is the world now that will put an eye on him. It's a system that is, that is clean, that is mm. straight. It's not a system that uh, you are locking the doors. There are situations where even in some places, they lock the doors, they don't allow people to come. Say, I don't want that man to come, he'll create a problem for me. You are infringing on his fundamental right to freedom of association. The constitution guarantees that. You can't stop anybody from coming. But what, when he comes in, what he wants mm. is a different matter. APDA is a different <laughs> political party. It's distinct, both okay. in content and in character. Okay, can you ex please explain what informed the choice of your logo? Logo? Yes. The Babandu? Yes. Well, you know, the star, as the name goes, we want to push, we want to push Nigeria. Mm. Nigeria. The star will give Nigeria the light. Are you, are you with me? Mm. We give Nigeria the light to prosperity. It will give Nigeria the light to development. It will push Nigeria to belong to the Committee of Nations. We had a lot of logos. We considered it. Mm. And we know the role of star. Everybody knows the star. If the star is there, everybody will see it. It will shine far and near for everybody to see. But did you also know that the AD also had, part of his logo was, you know, it had one star as well, and they had raised issues regarding that and the petition regarding that logo as well? No, it is not only AD that has raised such issues. But if you look at AD star, if that is a star, because I saw something black, 
very black. If, if, if you can show it, mm. it's very black in a circle mm. with something red on, on the right and the left. This star is a golden star that is shining. There is no resemblance. It is not in Paris material with that of AD. Mm. I also learned that uh, Abga also petitioned. Mm. In fact, this faith petition I learned it passed through the Senate, mm. uh, not through their member in the Senate. Somebody in the Senate faxed something and uh, he didn't know that uh, his office appeared on that document. And we got it. You see, people were scared of APG because you have Malam Situ, who has been national chairman of the Republican Party, national chairman of uh, uh, political party uh, advisory council. You have Danwanya. Then you have other people. They say, this is trouble. It is not trouble. We want to rescue our country. We, want, we believe in united Nigeria. So people complaining, Mm. Complaining, they didn't want the party to register. They knew that the party is going to go. If I tell you the number of inquiries from youths and women since we unveiled the party, it is awesome. Mm. It is awesome because we are touching them. Mm. In an election, my mother in the village, in an election, assuming she's a member of uh, ABGA, not APD, mm. what my mother will be looking for? Is cock. Okoba. My mother will be looking up for the cock. The cock. Okoba. He said, where is Okoba? That's where she will vote. Mm. She won't be looking for Abga because she doesn't read, she cannot read it. Though my mother said it's lettered. Mm. That is the situation in an election. Those from AD will be looking for that black object <laughs> that is covered. But those for APDA they be looking for the shining golden star that will move Nigeria from obscurity mm. to limelight. Those for APC, they won't be looking for APC. They will look for that broom, whether it is still standing or whether it has broken. <laughs> whether it's standing or broken, it is the broom they're going to look for. For the PDP, they will look for the umbrella, whether it is torn or cracked. Mm. So that is what they're looking for. So, how so all these all these all these petitions is I'm happy that I got all of them. I'm sure they must have sent it to the legal department. But, but are you not really bothered about this identification crisis? Because yeah, you've said some persons may find it easy to look at, but we've also had cases where people find it very difficult to identify symbols, identify basic things, and that is why when people some persons form associations or political entities, they want a certain kind of uniqueness stand out from every other thing if, if you can I because think, i am looking at what, 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 identify, appears, if, what appears on the ballot paper for instance yes what appears on the ballot paper is, you the, see, is the logo is the logos yeah, of the political yes, parties yes. and it maybe with the name on that with the name on that yes pro probably yes and in election situation where uh, people are queuing they're probably tired they just want to get in there and do the thing and go out my brother that's nothing like that mm. a voter mm. that wants to vote like during the last election I stood and looked at all the old men in my village and women. When they got there, they were just carefully following the logo. They were following the logo. When they got to that point, they would get it. Mm. What the literate woman in the village and man in the village knows is the logo. It's not your name. Is the logo. Is it an umbrella? Is it broom? Is it the shining star? Is it the cock? Is it the shining star? Papando. That is what that is what they know. That is what ask anybody about elections. Nobody looks at the name. They are looking for the simple. They are looking for the logo, because that is the logo that they will vote for by the side. Okay, let, let, let's. So there is no resemblance. They should stop this. Let us face uh, okay, numerous so problems of Nigeria and they leave all this. There's nothing in it. Okay, let, let's look at some of the numerous problems. Put it side by side. You discover that they are different. Okay, some of the issues that people have also raised is internal party democracy which has also bedeviled a lot of parties in the past. We asked some of the members yesterday, um, interim legal advisor to the party, and, you know, some of the members, the treasurer was here, and they gave, you know, a little bit of a narrative on what was supposed to be done or what is going to be done. But you are one of the founding members. How do you intend to ensure internal democracy through your intention to involve all party members? Yes, internal party democracy took a lot of time when we are constructing the constitution of the party. And it is one of the things that 
will make Omar a political party. If the provisions of your constitution states that something should be done in a particular manner, there is no other way to do it other than in that manner. I'll just give you an example of a Democratic uh, Governance Institute. We are waiting for the national chairman, Malam Shitu, Mohammed Kabiru, to issue directives for it to be established immediately. Because NEC has already taken a position. It's a constitutional matter. So we have to work ahead. And the constitution put it there that all aspirants, all, no exception, shall pass through this institute. So we have to start earlier. So those who think that they can run under ABGA must pass through this. We have to drill them. ABDA. Uh, Ab Ab you call it ABDA, ABDA. <laughs> they must pass through this institute. Mm -hmm. This institute must screen you. This is to more push something in that your head because you may be coming from somewhere where your head has been polluted. APDA will take it out so that you'll understand what we stand for. We don't stand for food is ready. We are ready to work. We are ready to work. We are ready to survey this country. If we don't do it now, this country will head to disaster. Okay, they, they, they also mentioned, you know, that this is a party for the youth, looking at the youth, you know, aggregates there. And, of course, when you talk about politics and people who also give the political party the sort of ambience that they deserve, it's usually the elder statement, the old politicians, the people who understood politicking as, as of then, you know, in other political parties. How are you going to weave them in? Because one of the key comments that came from one of the guests was that they were going to become mentors to, you know, the up and coming politicians and the young ones with yeah, the other yes, party. Yes, Adora, you see, we have the Board of Trustees. We have Edda's Council. Let me tell you, in 2019, APDA is likely going to have its presidential candidate from the North. We believe that the North should still retain the presidency. Fair is fair. But we may not be looking towards the age of Mr. President Buhari. We have to come down. We are not looking towards that age. A man of 70 with greatest respect, 70, 80, cannot be deciding without the input of those who are 20, 30. Or whatever he's doing, he's leaving behind for them. It's just like this excessive loan we are taking now. Who are those going to pay it? Is these guys in 20, 30 and their 40s. So we're not looking towards that age. That age will be in board of trustees. They will be elders council. They have good roles to play in the party. Give us your son. I was laughing this morning when I saw the Senate clearing a man of 82 as an ambassador. What is he going there to do? That is a reckless clearance. Mm -hmm. Give us your son. Give us your daughter or your grandson. So what's the age limit for your candidates, presidential candidates? Or no, there is no age limit, but there are certain things that will be done by executive orders by the NEC. Is Nation that executive order, is it constitutional? It is, what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, NEC we look towards having younger... You, you talked about youth. You talk about women. Because something as fundamental as what just, you're just, talking just, about, one would expect it just, to be enshrined in your party no, constitution. No, 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 you don't have to enshrine that. You, you, you'll be segregating some people. But by conscious efforts of the party, we know where our vision is going. That's where you see some of us, we are just other members in the party. So would you not be opening up yourself for possible litigation? Because if somebody is a member no. of the party, then he has a right to aspire. No, no. You irrespective see, of his age. No, no, you see. If the youths are mm -hmm. in, the women are in, a 90 year old man wants to run for presidency, I have somebody at 50 or 60. Those youths will not vote for that 90 year old man. So Everything will be by process. Okay, so you allow the democratic process it to take place. It will take place, but we are not thinking that way. Okay. Democratic process will take place. There is no imposition. There is no, there is no, 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 no system whereby you will pick. And no, it will take democratic process, and you will know the thinking of your party. You talked about party supremacy. You talk about party supremacy. Party supremacy is is not something that you see written in the constitution. I'll give you an example. I'll come back to that issue. I was very young, bank worker, eighties during the time of Chief Jagari. I don't know if I have the time. I was privileged to attend to peep through the window in a meeting MPN had then in Ebado. I have said this before. On the high table, there were just two seats. 
who sat there? Chief Augustus Adesa Meredith Akinloe, national chairman. By his side was Suleiman Takuma. Who were those sitting opposite him? President Shehu Sagare, Dr. Lese Kweme, Dr. Joseph Wires. They sat there facing him. That was party action. But come for a meeting now, the governor will come, he will pull his seat and sit down at the high table. Even without giving him a seat. Everybody, senator will sit on the high table. Party supremacy, and that is why you see a party wins an election. The party has no input. The president, the governor decides everything. He doesn't know those who work for the party. Even those who work for the party will be shoved aside. Cousins, nephews, nieces will be brought in place to occupy sensitive positions like chief of staff, like principal staff, and so on and so forth. And they're not in a position to see those who work for the president or for the governor to come and see him because they were never there. These are some of the that's why you see acrimony in government. Because those who finally occupy position we are not part and parcel of working for the success of the leader. So you must be in that constitution you have, there must be compensation, there must be recognition of effort, loyalty, and hard work. So APDA is a different party altogether. You're not going to have all these things. Will governors be given special uh, funding plans for the party? Well, anybody that wants to make the decision, including me, can make the nation to the party. But you won't give us money and say, I want that structure. We will tell you to go home and talk to the people. That is the intentment mm. of this APDA. You can give us anything you want, though there is a limit mm. for one million, I guess. Mm. But the intention is not for you. I want, you know, in the past, some people say, I want the entire Southwest structure. I want the entire Southeast structure. So he will now be an overlord dictating who gets what and how. Utibe, it will not happen in APDA. APDA, it is the people that decide. The fact that we have given that direct primaries a chance in our constitution. It's like the 30% we gave women. It's in the constitution. 25% to the youth. It's in the constitution. 5% to people living with disabilities. It's in the constitution. It's not a convention. So if the party goes contrary to it, you hold the party leadership to it. So what I'm telling you is in the constitution, it's not a question of uh, let's do it, we come to the podium, promise we are going to do this, at the end of the day, you won't get near power. Now you've talked about the role of money bags and how you're going to neutralize them. You, you could succeed in neutralizing them at the party structure level where they can take over the structures of the party and detect to the party leaders and officials what to do. But can you actually neutralize them at the level of the primaries, where you are saying that all card-carrying members of the party are automatic delegates to your party primaries? Can you really neutralize the role of the money bags in influencing the minds of the people to vote for them? You see, there is nothing, Utibe, at least by the grace of God, I have been in this political party administration for 10 years. There is nothing that glances the heart of a member. That, sweet, that makes him happy than going to vote in a Congress, going to vote in a convention. If you have a card of APDA, I bet you, you can't sell it to anybody. Even if you give it to him, he cannot vote because we have to accredit him with the biometric machine. He will be there himself. Will, will people, I don't know how transparent your delegate list would be. Yes. Uh -huh. Would people in a particular area, everybody in that area for any election be entitled to know and see the delegates list? The process is this. I have told you, the delegates list you are talking about is the one you are used to. But I am right also to say that there will be no delegate list because every member is a delegate. But what we do before that election, the list of the members in that ward who have, who are up to date with their subscription will be published. And a particular time will be given for objections. It will be there in the world. So you go there, you find your name. If your name is not there, maybe due to error, you show evidence, your name will get back there. But every member, card-carrying member of the party, 
He's a delegate. You, you and know, no delegate you, will allow himself to be flat. I, I, I see go I, back. I'm not saying, sorry, I'm not saying. I see go back to my former question because you have said all politics is local. Yes. I'm talking about the ability to allow people to vote their minds. Yes. One of our tweets here says there's so much poverty. Let's go back to the rural level. We saw what happened in the elections in Undo. We saw what happened in the elections in Undo state in particular, governorship elections, where people literally were given 5,000 naira and people were watching them to see who they are going to vote. And you come out and say, let's see evidence that you actually voted who you were supposed to vote based on the money you received. That's what I'm saying. Money bags might not be able to influence the structure because you want to make the structure as foolproof at the party level. But at the delegate level for a primary, it's still about influencing who becomes what at the end of the day, who flies the party's flag. How do you ensure that people have an even playing background? For instance, you're talking about young people. Young people who are aspiring for political position may not necessarily have the money. But money backs who have been there in politics have the money. And they see the delegates list. They see the members of their political party of APDA in their zone. Uh -huh. And they begin to reach out to them individually. At the end of the day, they still get their way. So we're still going back to a vicious cycle see, I, I agree. where there I, are no even playing field. I agree with you. I agree with you. But let me give you an example. It's left for the people. Mm. We have given you, you see, that's a saying in my place. He said, throw out the bones and that allow the dog what the dog will face with the spirits. Mm. We have given you the platform. Look at what happened in Lagos last weekend. It was an attempt to impose a candidate. Money was brought, everything, and people said, no, this is the man we want. We are getting to that point. What happened in 2015 has taught Nigerians bitter lessons. Nigerians have learned bitterly that all that glitters is not good. Nigerians have come to the conclusion that what the farmer says on his way to the farm is not what he will say on his way back. So we'll give you the platform. We'll be transparent. We'll be honest. We'll tell you the truth. If you sell it, we'll continue with our struggle. If you want to influence them, go to the local and influence them. But it, it, they will see that it's transparent. It is transparent. We did not shut everybody out, anybody out. Mm -hmm. So it is left for you. But education is also important because this party will be involved in a lot of education mm -hmm. of the voters. Because you cannot continue to collect 2,000 naira, 5,000 naira that will do you that way, maybe. And for four years, nobody sees you. You wait for another 4,000 in the next election. While if you have a party that has produced a good leader, Take, for example, when we are in Nondo, the transport system we introduced under the Labour Party government. We took the pen from parents. Some parents spend 500 naira every day on their kids to and from school. We introduced the bus system. Are you with me? What that means, the bus will move, pick you at the point, drop you. After school, take you, drop you. So you have saved... 2,500 from that family every week. On the other hand, you are putting 10,000 naira into the pocket of that family without giving them money. So you know what happened? The kids love it so much in other states. You know what they did? Even those who are living near the school, we trek about half a kilometer, enter the bus and get back. And when they are going, they go back because they want to be part and parcel of it. So what I'm saying is, all these things, uh, education will be very, very key. Okay. Nigeria is a corrupt system that we must have to fight. The corruption uh, agency is doing their best, mm. but political parties must also be involved. INEC will not come and tell you, don't collect money or give money. Okay, just before we go for the news, um, a lot of the times when you look at political parties, I think the issue of loyalty and credibility has been one of the key issues. Um, you know, some people were having a conversation yesterday, I happened to, you know, hear and they said, oh, APDA is election time now. People are coming together. They're looking for a platform to be able to bring candidates mm. together. You know, that, is, that will be the usual cliche frame of thought of a lot of Nigerians. But are you also not worried? Because you will find people who would want to join the bandwagon and get on the platform and possibly just to feel the party out. Mm. Uh, how do you mitigate against people who would possibly come, you know, as sheeps but are wolves, you know, <laughs> in sheep's skin? <laughs> they, will, they, will, they will expose themselves before long. It's the system. Look at this document you have here. It's detailed. Let me see. See how, see how big it is. It is detailed. Very detailed. 
He will come and say there's nothing that one can do for you personally. The national chairman, Shitu, can't do anything for you. All he will tell you, look at it in the constitution, go home. It's, that's all. And because it has been lacking in the political parties, that's why somebody comes in with too much money, he takes over the process. He takes over the process. This is as a result of research of experienced practitioners who knew where the problem lies. All right, Chief Dan, we'll just take a break now. We have to go to the news that's for Pan Africa World. We'll return back and continue with this interview in a moment. Stay with us. This Pan-African world, Kenya's electoral body said on Tuesday it had removed a senior official from his post over a delay in preparing ballot papers for elections due in August. Lawyer, Lawyer Ara, the director of procurement, will be resigned, reassigned to another department. Ara was in charge of acquiring voting materials and equipment for the coming elections. The August 8th elections are expected to be closely contested with some 13,000 people seeking office at the national and local levels. President Uhuru Kenyatta is running for a second and final term with opposition leader Raila Odinga, his main challenger. And Brazil's superior electoral court has resumed its deliberations on a case which could topple the country's president, Mikel Temer. Party members, beg your pardon, the court taxed with overseeing the electoral process is looking at whether the 2014 elections were won using illegal campaign donations. These were the elections that Dilma Rousseff won with Terma as her running mate. Rousseff has since been impeached and replaced by Terma. She was accused of illegally moving funds between government budgets. And the European Union ambassador to Nigeria, Miguel Arian, says the EU will work with Bielsa State to create more investment and job opportunities in the state. Arian, who stated this during a working visit to the state, also commended Governor Seraki Dixon on his administration's investment in the education sector. And Brazil's Superior Electoral Court has resumed its deliberation on a case which could topple the country's president, Mikel Temer. The court acts for the overseeing electoral process and is looking at whether the 2014 elections were won using illegal campaign donations. These were elections that Dilma Rousseff won with Temer as her running mate. And Italy broke up a criminal ring smuggling migrants safely to Sicily for about 3,000 euros on a speedboat capable of making the crossing from Tunisia in less than four hours. Prosecutors in Palmo issued a warrant to detain 15 suspects for smuggling and trafficking in contraband cigarettes. All were Italian residents, but most were Tunisian born. And that's it for Pan African World News. We'll continue with our conversation on APTA. Stay with us. For still being there with us, I guess uh, still Chief Dan Wyo, founding member of the APDA. Uh, before we went on that break, a uh, line of thought went into the issue of the camping. We're approaching an election year, and a lot of people have found themselves in the wrong end or at the wrong end of their present political parties and hoping for fresh and new platforms to contest. Uh, how would you deal with fresh decampees? to the APD. I'm sure you expect, you need numbers, you're expecting numbers to come, quality numbers as well as the quantity as well. How do you intend to deal with the DCAMPs that come to APD with the intentions to contest for elected positions? You see, uh, the politician is an active animal. It's always uh, active, looking for where to get it better. APDA is a new political party. We're mobilizing, we have to get membership. 
We are not driving anybody away. But it will not be that type of a party whereby you come in purposely for the election. After winning, you jump out. No, it won't be that way. And you may be asking me, how would you protect that? Mm. That's why you get them to document their commitment to the party. There's something a politician would not like to happen to him. It's exposing him that he's dishonest. We have a mechanism that if we win, and that's what we are going to also push mm. in the National Assembly. If you win an election on their political platform, I think they have talked about it. If you want to go, you can go, but you have to drop that mandate. Go and face election under the new political party. Mm. That's why you see politicians, of course, they don't believe in anything. Mm. And that's why our institutes will be very, very strong. Mm. We are going to get experts. We are going to talk to people. If you are coming to this party to build it through the process of an election and other areas, fine. It is not going to just be a vehicle to take you to your destination. And when you get there, you abandon the vehicle. We want to build capacity. And that's why we are calling the young people. Let them start from councillors, local government chairmen, state assembly, house of reps, some of them. You know, we start training them. By the time you run the process of election twice, you will have younger people that will be in a position to become president, president of France today. So you're not particularly amb ambitious about the 2019 general election? No, we are. We are. we are. Why are we forming a shadow government? A shadow government is a government that of an elected bureaucracy uh -huh. that has an eye on those people in power and ready to take over democratically in case of a disaster. We are heading to that disaster. We are not ready for 2019. We are ready for 2019. And Nigerian people will vote in 2019 to change the status quo. Uh -huh. Those who do not want change in our political system will not have a way in 2019. Nigerian people are ready. Unless you are not following the barometer uh -huh. of the politics in Nigeria. They are ready because they don't want it anymore. We are going to contest election in 2019. We are going to start with Anambra. We are moving into Anambra very soon. Full blast. So it's not... It's not a joke. Our strength is on the young people, women, and uh, those who have Nigeria at heart, interest of Nigeria at heart. A lot of people would also want to know, yeah, we, you, you're going to explain more about that um, shadow government, but uh, political ca parties come with clear-cut ideologies. Uh, the UP, and we talked about this when we were opening the show, we had in the Second Republic, UP, and that was so education-focused. What is the APDA coming with? What is your primary ideology that sets you apart? Apart from the issues of ensuring that you have internal democracy, the value system is entrenched, ethics is there in the party, what is the ideology of the APDA? The ideology of APDA can be summarized as social democracy. I have seen the document with you. I don't know if you have gone through the manifesto. Um, I've not concluded Good. it yet. Good. It's quite bulky. It's bulky. It's bulky because it's a lot of work that has gone there. Uh -huh. You see, Nigeria and Nigerians have no reason to be poor. Mm. There are people today in this country who do not eat mm. before going to bed. If you listen to when I was unveiling on behalf of the National Day Council, mm. the party, I talked about industrialization. I talked about every day.